Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognized my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I... I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening! The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here! I'm telling you, it was her! Yes, I need something to calm me down. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? I don't know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa, the alcohol's <laughs> gone to my head. Here, the condemned's last drink. Man, I... I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. Ugh! The second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me, or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her, forever? What was she trying to cure you of, then? of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. What? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The voices in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Elizabeth, do you realize what you're saying? Of course, Louis. This is what I live every day. But these spirits, Elizabeth, don't exist. You do realize that. These voices in your head, it's... it's you, in fact. Nobody is speaking to you. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the result! It's impossible, Mother. 
You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louie. Are you starting to believe me? No, but she... Too bad it's all been for nothing. They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. I beg you, tell me you believe me. I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. And I do believe you. Thank you, Louis. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. My God, Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Let's not rush into things. You have nothing to fear here. I'm with you. And anyway, my mother's gone missing. You're not in any danger. That's not what the voices say. Listen to me. Don't give up. You must resist, and tomorrow, you'll see. Things will be better. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me, but my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh, man. I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you. Uh, what is this bitch gonna do to me? Don't touch me! Just leave. If I get up, I'll fall. Hmm. Oh, little Louie's tired. Leave everything to me. Mademoiselle, may I come in? Ah, uh, my head. I shouldn't have drunk so much. Oh, shit. Is there nothing you want to say, Louis? I... Uh, it wasn't me. I, I, I didn't kill her. I, I'd much rather have met you under different circumstances. Lord Mortimer, believe me, I'm very conscious of the gravity of the situation. <laughs> Everything seems to point to me as the one who killed Elizabeth, but I swear I am innocent. Out of respect for your mother, rest assured that I do want to believe you. And all I want is to be able to prove it to you. When do we start? We already have. Tell me, Louis. How do you feel? I feel 
feel like a rat trapped in a maze. Interesting. I beg your pardon? Sarah also felt like she was trapped like an animal. Where are you going with this, my lord? Sarah's behavior grew odd before her disappearance. Her attitude changed, she became prey to outbursts of violence and a number of temporary absences. I'm just trying to make sure that you don't go getting lost like your mother did. You're not suggesting that I might have killed Elizabeth and that I don't remember, are you? I don't know, Louis. It's just that what with your mother and now you, it's rather a lot. The more I take stock of the situation, the more I'm under the impression that you've been set up. But before going any further, I must inform you that Sir Gregory is about to arrive. He is coming to question you about the murder of poor Elizabeth, whom he was very fond of. He is quite determined to find the culprit, whomever they may be. So, convince him of your innocence. Then we can continue this conversation. William, I would like to see you a moment before we begin. In private. Let's step outside a moment. Louis, this will only take a few moments. Let's take this chance to look around. Please, sit back down, Louis. This sort of behavior is not working in your favor, young man. Monsieur de Richer, you were found standing over Miss Adams' body. We must shed some light on your responsibility in this tragedy. We shall then decide on your fate. But you must know that if you do not convince us of your innocence, it will cost you dearly. Now you're going to tell us everything that happened last night, without leaving any detail out. First things first, how did your evening begin? I was in the corridor and I was about to go to bed. Elizabeth appeared as if from nowhere and rushed toward me. She took me by the arm and led me to her room. You say she... led you? All right, we'll accept that. Continue. We were heading for our rooms when Elizabeth burst into the corridor, barely dressed. She was panic-stricken and insisted on speaking to me. So I found myself in Elizabeth's room. We sat down together. She insisted we have a drink or she would refuse to confide in me. Hmm. What exactly did she want to speak about at such a late hour? She was panicked. She claimed she had just seen my mother on the island. Did she say where she saw her? Huh. I seem to remember something about cliffs. Let us continue. And what happened next? Then she told me she had poured laudanum in my glass. The next minute I was on the floor. When I woke up, she was lying in a pool of blood. That is all you have to say? You expect us to believe that you have no idea what happened to her? Yes, because I'm telling you the truth. How can you possibly expect us to believe you? Gregory, we must consider every possibility. Louis, do you have any idea who could have done it? 
Well, even if I can't believe for a single instant that my mother could have murdered someone in that manner, she might have wanted to stop Elizabeth from speaking about their mutual past, and things might have turned nasty. It is indeed a possibility. I would like to thank you for helping us shed light on what happened last night. To be honest, you are not the only suspect. I'm prepared to believe you were drugged. Our poor Elizabeth hid the stuff everywhere, and I could smell laudanum on you three yards away. So you knew it wasn't me from the start? We weren't sure. Louis, I am sorry, but everything points in the same direction. I only know one person on this island who might have had a big enough grudge against Elizabeth, who has no alibi, and whose behavior is, well, suspect. Not to mention dangerous. Tell me what happened before my arrival. I think I've been patient enough. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. We are leaving. Louis, do you have any idea who could have done it? Why don't you ask him where he was last night? Monsieur Peru, what would his motive be? Do you have any proof? No, not exactly, but he'd already wrapped her up once. Monsieur de Richet, you should not accuse the first person to come along without at least some proof. I'm sure you are worthier than that. Can you think of anyone else? Maybe Mr. Washington. But of course! And what would his motive be? I believe he thought Elizabeth was stillborn. Washington could have been trying to protect the secret of his vice president, Elizabeth's father. Sorry, Louis, but it so happened that Mr. Washington spent most of the time with Duchess Hillsborough. She confirmed it. Let's finish this, William. I don't rightly know how we can give the benefit of the doubt to an individual who can manipulate the truth to absurdity. Louis. Unfortunately, you haven't managed to convince us. You will agree that you had the time and the motive to commit the murder. I... I am devastated, but I must agree with Gregory and declare you guilty. Gentlemen, if you please, wait. There is something else. Elizabeth ended up telling me why my mother had tried to treat her. The voices in her head, is that it? She spoke to you about them too, didn't she? Gentlemen, I'm not a doctor, but she was persuaded she heard voices in her head. You don't think she might have killed herself, By do stabbing you? herself nine times. I find that extremely unlikely, don't what? you? What? Stabbed nine times? It appears that the murderer walked up and stabbed her several times from behind. We counted nine gashes in all. All of them were relatively shallow, and they were all given from roughly the same angle of attack. Traces of blood appear to prove that she was standing throughout the attack. If that's all the proof you have before dispensing justice, th then you'll have innocent blood on your hands. There's no proof I, I could have committed the murder. You do know, sir, that the first impression is often the right one. We found you near dear Elizabeth's body. What could be simpler? Goodbye. No! Monsieur de Richet, you were found standing over Miss Adams' body. We must shed some light on your responsibility in this tragedy. We shall then decide on your fate. But you must know that if you do not convince us of your innocence, it will cost you dearly. Now you are going to tell us everything that happened last night, without leaving any detail out. First things first, how did your evening begin?
Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came upon us. Oh, so you were with the Duchess? Yes, we were talking. We were walking up the stairs. And it was late. Where did you come from? Uh, I don't remember. I, I think we came from the Grand Hall. Oh, isn't that surprising? Do continue. We were heading for our rooms when Elizabeth burst into the corridor, barely dressed. She was panic-stricken and insisted on speaking to me. So I found myself in Elizabeth's room. We sat down together. She insisted we have a drink or she would refuse to confide in me. Hmm. What exactly did she want to speak about at such a late hour? Well, she was terrorized by the fact that you invited her at the same time as my mother. She was surely victim to misconceptions, but felt trapped. She was convinced she was going to die. But why? Let's say she didn't believe in coincidences, shall we? You'll admit that the chances of my mother and Elizabeth bumping into each other on this island are pretty slim. Sorry if I'm putting my nose where it doesn't belong, my lord, but why did you invite them at the same time? Elizabeth spoke to you about her past. She came here so you could help her fight her demons. She must have told you about her encounters with my mother. Remember, Louis, I was not the one who invited dear Elizabeth. Indeed, it was me. And you seem to forget it was you that we found right next to poor Elizabeth's body. You had better start proving your innocence rather than trying to cast doubts on William here. Let's finish this, William. I don't rightly know how we can give the benefit of the doubt to an individual who can manipulate the truth to absurdity. Louis, unfortunately, you haven't managed to convince us. You will agree that you had the time and the motive to commit the murder. I... I am devastated, but I must agree with Gregory and declare you guilty. Gentlemen, if you please, wait. There is something else. Elizabeth ended up telling me why my mother had tried to treat her. The voices in her head, is that it? She spoke to you about them too, didn't she? Gentlemen, I'm not a doctor, but she was persuaded she heard voices in her head. You don't think she might have killed herself, By stabbing you? herself nine times. I find that extremely unlikely, don't you? What? Stabbed nine times? It appears that the murderer walked up and stabbed her several times from behind. We counted nine gashes in all. All of them were relatively shallow, and they were all given from roughly the same angle of attack. Traces of blood appear to prove that she was standing throughout the attack. If that's all the proof you have before dispensing justice, th then you'll have innocent blood on your hands. There's no proof I, I could have committed the murder. You do know, sir, that the first impression is often the right one. We found you near dear Elizabeth's body. What could be simpler? Goodbye. <laughs>